Hi guys, it's Mina. Welcome back to another nighttime episode. Uh, tonight we're going to be doing something, kind of revisiting my roots in the past combined with a more modern twist. Uh, one of the, actually the first pour I ever did was a swipe. And uh, a couple of you lovely people out there have asked me in the comments to do a swipe again. So that's what we're going to be playing with tonight. Um, I was watching Julie Cuts and she was doing this technique with a paper towel and dipping it before swiping it. So I kind of want to try that and I think it's going to be really fun. This is a 15 inch by 30 inch gallery wrap canvas from Artist Loft. I've taped the back and put my push pins in. That's ready to go. If we could just stop putting hair on it, it'll be awesome. Okay, <laughs> my colors tonight are, big surprise, this one is Amsterdam Magenta. And my paint is all mixed with Liquitex Gloss Medium and Paint and Floetrol, leaving a mound, but it's kind of disappearing pretty quickly. So there is a lot of water in here. Um, I've been using a little less Floetrol lately. Um, so instead of adding the pouring medium and then the paint and mixing that up and adding Floetrol right off the bat, I've kind of been doing it more how I used to do it, which was the paint and the pouring medium. And then I add a little bit of water to it first before I add the Floetrol. So I'm adding the Floetrol to a thinner consistency already. And, uh, I don't know, just kind of using less Floetrol altogether. This one is Golden's Anthroquinone Blue. Again, leaving a mound on a mound, but then disappearing pretty quickly. This one is Liquitex Basics Dioxazine Purple, which this has got to be one of my favorite colors, honestly. I actually was out for a really long time, and then I just got another jar, and I opened it up, and I was like, oh, it's so pretty. And uh, Molly from Molly's Artistry had done this beautiful... Um, spiral with purple and magenta and it was just so so pretty it was really gorgeous so shout out to molly also this one is deco art americana decor satin enamels uh, in pure white and to this i have also added some amsterdam pearl violet which is kind of like a interference gold sort of with a little bit of a pinky sheen to it and i added a little bit of deco art to it because i didn't want it to be completely transparent i did want it to have some opacity which the satin enamels definitely does and if we get some nice cloudy cells in there so much the better okay Ooh, bunny rabbit the last one we have here is golden's Payne's gray and this one is mis mixed much thinner i do know how to talk <laughs> This one is not really leaving a mound, it's just pretty much sinking. So this is my swipe color. So I'm gonna lay these down and then I'm gonna swipe with this. So that's the fun part, laying down our colors, cause it's like playing. <laughs> okay, so that was a 15 by 30. All right, so this really is the fun part. This is when you take your paints and you just sort of play and lay down some color however you want. And you're going to tilt this out so it's not going to really matter all that much. I'm going to put some of the anthroquinone blue down now. Probably not as much blue. Should you want your canvas fairly evenly covered? I'm going to put some of our white pearl violet on there now. And here comes Gail. <laughs> so part of the reason we were pouring tonight instead of tomorrow is because there's supposed to be really, really strong high winds tomorrow and I hope they're not arriving right this minute. <laughs> okay, so here's our magenta from Amsterdam. Okay, we're going to put some gold in. I'm not going to use a ton of gold and I'm going to kind of try to fill in the spaces that are empty more than anything else. I do want gold cells coming up in there though, so we do want some gold in there. Okay, so I think I want to add a little bit more purple because I definitely do want to see that color in there. And this is all going to mix up and blend. Let's see, what do we need a little bit more of? Maybe a little bit more white in some of these areas. Look into here. So we are gonna tilt this to cover the canvas and spread out this paint nicely. Let's do that now. So it doesn't really matter what it looks like right now, which is always really fun, you know, because we get so hung up on composition and you know, maintaining everything. And a swipe is just, it's awesome because it doesn't really matter what it looks like underneath. 
<laughs> so what's gonna happen when you swipe it? That's the cool part. So with swipes, a lot of people do use silicone. There is no silicone in any of my paint. I am relying on consistency and technique to give me the cells that I want rather than silicone. Some people like silicone and they use it all the time and that's great for them. It's not something I really enjoy because I do like, actually I don't like like washing my paintings in the sink or you know, rubbing baby powder on them or all the number of things you can do to remove silicone is just not my idea of fun. So, okay, this is looking pretty good. We're just gonna go down now and cover that bottom edge. This way a little bit and get that corner. I'm going to wipe my hands off and we'll get started. Swipes are really fun. The very first, <laughs> do you remember our first one in the garage? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was this little tiny, like, it was an eight by eight, like wood panel canvas. It was really cool. You had like six different things you wanted to try to work on. <laughs> <laughs> We had so much fun though, it was so exciting. Okay, so the cool thing that I saw Julie Cuts do was rather than pour a stripe down the center and swipe that, let me move these out of the way. She had a little container, just like this one, and she poured some of her paint in there And then she dipped her little napkin thingies in there. So I thought that was pretty cool. And I figured let's give it a try. Okay, so we're just going to take one of the little napkins. And we're going to dip that in the paint. Just like that. And then we're going to swipe it. So we're going to start like over here on this one. We're just going to put it down. And we're going to swipe. And I didn't do that very well. <laughs> Let's try that one more time. Maybe I wasn't holding it the right way. Ooh! <laughs> Just put that on top of there. Okay. So we're actually going to dip that in there this time. Get a little more paint on there. We're going to go right on top of it. And nice and gently. Cool. Okay. Awesome. I'm going to go this way now. From here. And pull that that way. Maybe I need to let it sit on there for a second and get good contact. I'm going to use one that's a little wider this time. Hello, Gail. Amazing. <laughs> okay. Windy, windy all morning. Then it calmed down. It's been calm until now. You ready? I don't want to drip on the painting. It's fine. Okay. I'll just put that down. Let it get good contact. And now we're going to glide it across. Starting, I guess it's officially tomorrow, that's why. It is rather late. Okay, here we go. Put it down. There we get good contact, and we're just gonna pull it across. That's better. I don't know how 
start stuff start start landing in the painting. <laughs> okay, let's do this quick. This is like... <laughs> All right. Here we go. Maybe the paper towel is too thin. Woo! Evil, evil wind. Okay. You know what? Let's do... Good. <laughs> no, okay. All right, I have these little plastic pieces. Let's try this instead. See if we can't get a better. No. And see, that looks totally different. No. Going back to the paper towel. Which I've used up most of them or they've flown away. Okay. <laughs> well, you can't say this isn't fun to watch at least. Okay, I'm going to dip a little bit bigger area. We're going to do that one again. Cut up some more paper towels. <laughs> Good thing you didn't go with the 24 by 36. Right? <laughs> I was looking at a 24 by 48 too. <laughs> okay. Puddle of paint, that was smart. Okay. That one might be a little thick. Let's go over that one again. Come on, Gail.
get the leave out of it though. Okay, so I'm trying to get a little bit of that paint off. We haven't even torched it yet. Okay. Come on, Gil. Work with me here, honey. She's not kidding. She wants to paint, man. That's what it really is, I'm telling you. Come on, Gail. Okay. Oh, this will be interesting. That one's a little crooked. <laughs> So there are a few areas like these gaps that I want to fix. So let's take one of these thinner ones that doesn't have paint all over it already. It's stuck in my hand, that's pretty funny. And we're just gonna get a small strip. Same one, I'm just gonna dip it again. I'm gonna go over here. Okay. That looks pretty cool. Let's torch it. Actually, I'm gonna take this and just gonna tilt it down a little bit, see if anything's really moving. No, that's good. Okay, let's torch.
Okay. I see a flower in the painting over here. Let's get that out. And there's another one over there. <laughs> and there's another little leaf thingy over there. And there was one more, I thought. Did it bubble? No. There it is. There's another flower. Okay. I don't like that cell. So let's, or lack of space there. <laughs> Dip the edge of this, and then let's come in through here. Get rid of that one, and then I'm gonna go in here too because it looks a little messy. So use the same one and go in through here because it looks very, very dark. And that's kind of crooked. That's okay. Alright. <laughs> well, that was fun. I always like swipes. I think they're a lot of fun. And it's not moving very much, which is good. I am just going to kind of go back and forth a little bit. To allow whatever cells we have there to grow. We might torch it one more time. But you see the paint is not moving very, very much, which is awesome. So I think my paint may have been a little thick also for this. It could have been a little bit thinner. But it's alright, it'll be fine. I may go over the edges of this with some whatever color I need to fill it in. But that's looking pretty cool. What do you think? I don't like that cell. That looks like a drip. Just fiddling with it and playing with things that I like and that I don't like, so bear with me for another moment. Let's see, this is this part that I wasn't crazy about. complaint at this point is it doesn't seem like these are all straight. Some of them seem to be going that way a little bit. <laughs> Some are going straight. But that's okay. I'm still going to leave it alone because I like it. I'm not crazy about what happened there. Alright, 
I'm gonna wipe my hands off. We're gonna torch it one more time, see if we can't get any more cells to come up over here. But this is pretty cool over here. So I think my paint was a little bit thick and maybe that's why we're not getting as much of a selling option happening, but there are cells coming up in here and it might continue to sell even more. I actually really like the way this looks. So I'm okay with this. And I love what that purple and magenta did together with the anthraquinone blue. Hmm. Do you think it needs more of the Payne's gray on this end? Because I wasn't dipping it for these last couple, remember? Yeah. Do you think I should? Mm -hmm. I should add more of the darker Payne's gray. I do kind of like this, though. Yeah, it looks, it looks good. This is a little messy, though. So this is really cool. I do love this. I like this with the magenta and I love the purples and blues. This is really pretty to me even though there's not a lot of cells there. And I like this part. That one could be better. Those could be better. But I don't really want to mess with it anymore. I think there's still some flowers in here. Yep. Thank you, Gail. For all of you who ask me what do I do when something lands in my painting, that's it. <laughs> Get it out as soon as you can, as soon as you see it, and uh, you're good. So if you wait too long and it's been in there for a while and your paint has started to set up, then you'll actually see a mark if that happens. So try to get it as soon as you see it. Now I'm just actually taking the stick and kind of going through some of these Oh, it made like a little heart shape. Kind of cool. Alright, that's better. Alright, cool. I will show you guys this one when it's dry. Thank you so much for hanging out with us tonight. Hope you have a beautiful day and stay safe from this crazy wind that's a blowing. We'll see you soon. Okay, so this is a couple of days later. It dried really fast because we've had really insane wind. We've actually been without power for the last 36 hours or so because they turn the power off in case it gets really windy so we don't get power lines falling over and starting fires. But I'm gonna just talk fast before it starts getting really windy again. Uh, this looks great. Um, I do think my paint was too thick. But I love the colors. I love the Payne's gray and the dioxazine purple. You did get some cells from the gold mostly. I do really like how it looks. Sorry about the wind noise, guys. There's literally nothing I can do about it. But this was a really cool swipe and it was fun. And I will play with this again with thinner paint to see if we get more of that selling. Hopefully not while there's a hurricane blowing. So <laughs> thank you all so much for being here with me and 